and welcome to this exciting journey to the Diomede Islands. Located in the Bering Strait, these two small islands are unique in many ways. They are a part of two different countries, and they are also known as the Gateway to Tomorrow because of the international date line running through them. In this video, we will uncover the secrets of this mysterious isolated part of the world and explore its intriguing history, geography, and culture. Welcome to the Media Geek, the arena with engaging and informative weekly videos. Before moving on, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to extend your support. Diomede Islands are a remote archipelago in the middle of the Bering Strait, located between Alaska, USA and Chukotka, Russia. The islands are home to the Inupiaq people, who have inhabited the region for thousands of years. Despite their proximity to each other, the islands are divided by a political boundary that separates two countries. History of the Diomedid Islands The history of the Diomedid Islands is as fascinating as their geography. The islands are named after St. Diomedes, who was a Greek martyr. The native people of the islands are the Inupiaq Eskimos, who have lived in the area for over 4,000 years. These people are known for their hunting skills and they have traditionally relied on hunting whales, seals, and walruses for survival. During the Cold War, the Diomedia Islands became a strategic location for the United States and the Soviet Union. Little Diomede Island is a part of the United States, while Big Diomede Island is a part of Russia. The distance between the two islands is only 3.8 kilometers, 2.4 miles, making it the closest point between the two countries. During the Cold War, the Soviet Union used Big Diomede Island as a military base, and it was off-limits to outsiders. Geography of the Diomede Islands The Diomede Islands are unique in many ways, and their geography is one of the most intriguing aspects. Little Diomede Island is only 7.3 square kilometers, 2.8 square miles, while Big Diomede Island is larger, with an area of 29 square kilometers, 11.2 square miles. Both islands are mountainous, with the highest point on Little Diomede Island reaching 494 meters, 1,621 feet, and on Big Diomede Island, the highest point is 1,705 meters, 5,594 feet. One of the most interesting things about the Diomede Islands is that they are located on the International Date Line, which is the line that separates one day from the next. Because of this, the islands are often referred to as the Gateway to Tomorrow. This means that if you travel from Little Diomede Island to Big Diomede Island, you will go from today to tomorrow, while if you travel in the opposite direction, you will go from tomorrow to today. The Isolation of the Diomede Islands The Diomede Islands are one of the most remote and isolated places on Earth, accessible only by boat or plane. The islands are separated by a narrow channel of water, with Big Diomede Island belonging to Russia and Little Diomede Island belonging to the United States. The harsh Arctic climate and rocky terrain make it difficult for visitors to explore the islands, but those who make the journey are rewarded with breathtaking scenery and a glimpse into a way of life that has remained largely unchanged for centuries. The Bering Strait, a gateway between continents. The Bering Strait, which separates the Diomede Islands from the mainland, has long been a gateway between the continents of Asia and North America. The Inupiaq people have been trading with their neighbors across the strait for thousands of years, and the islands have played an important role in the history of the region. Today, the Bering Strait is also an important shipping route for goods traveling between Asia and North America. The Inupiaq Way of Life The Inupiaq people have lived on the Diomede Islands for thousands of years and have developed a way of life that is deeply connected to the natural environment. The harsh Arctic climate requires a high level of self-sufficiency, and the Inupiat have developed a complex system of hunting and gathering to meet their needs. They rely on the sea for food, hunting whales, seals, walrus, and other sea mammals, and also hunt caribou and other land animals. They also gather plants and berries for food and medicine. They also have a tradition of drum dancing, which is a form of storytelling through music and dance, the drum is a symbol of their culture, and it is often decorated with images of animals and spirits. They have a rich culture that is centered around storytelling, dance, and music, and have passed down their traditions through generations. Wildlife of the Diomede Islands 
The Diomede Islands are home to a diverse array of wildlife, including many species that are unique to the Arctic region. Visitors can expect to see a variety of seabirds, including puffins, guillemots, and cormorants, as well as marine mammals like walrus, seals, and whales. The islands are also home to the Arctic fox, which has adapted to the harsh environment and can be seen roaming around the rocky terrain. The waters around the islands are home to several species of fish, including salmon, herring, and cod. The importance of whaling in Inupia culture. Whaling has been a central part of Inupia culture for thousands of years and remains an important part of their way of life today. The Inupia hunt whales using traditional methods, using small boats and harpoons to take down these massive creatures. The meat and blubber are used for food and the bones and skin are used to make tools, clothing, and artwork. The Inupia have a deep respect for the whales and believe that they are gifts from the ocean that must be treated with reverence. While the practice of whaling is controversial and has faced opposition from animal rights groups, it remains an important cultural practice for the Inupia people. Traditional Inupia Crafts and Artwork The Inupia people are known for their skill in traditional crafts and artwork, which are an important part of their culture. They create beautiful carvings out of bone and ivory, as well as intricate beadwork and basketry. Many Inupiaq artists are internationally recognized for their work, which often incorporates traditional designs and themes. Big Diomede Island, a restricted Russian territory. Big Diomede Island is located on the Russian side of the border and is a restricted territory, off limits to visitors without permission from the Russian government. It was the site of a Soviet military base during the Cold War and was heavily fortified with mines and other defensive measures. Today, the island is home to a small military garrison and a weather station, as well as a handful of scientists and researchers. Little Diomede Island, a close-knit American community. Little Diomede Island is home to a small but close-knit community of around 100 people. The island has no roads or cars, and residents rely on boats and snowmobiles to get around. The community is centered around the school, which serves children from kindergarten through high school, and the community center, which hosts events and activities throughout the year. Despite the isolation and harsh climate, the residents of Little Diomede Island are proud of their home and their heritage, and have a strong sense of community spirit. Climate change in the future of the Diomede Islands Like many places in the Arctic region, the Diomede Islands are feeling the effects of climate change. The ice is melting earlier in the year, making it more difficult for the Inupiaq to hunt and gather food. The permafrost, which is critical for maintaining the stability of the island's rocky terrain, is also melting, causing erosion and landslides. The Inupiaq are working to adapt to these changes and are exploring new ways to sustain their way of life in the face of these challenges. Tourism on the Diomede Islands The Diomede Islands are not a typical tourist destination, but they offer a unique experience for those who are adventurous enough to visit. Because of their location on the international date line, visitors can technically be in two different days at the same time. This is a popular photo opportunity for tourists. The islands are also a great place for bird watching, with many different species of birds living in the area. Visitors can also learn about the history and culture of the Inupiaq people by visiting the local museum. So this is all about the Diomede Islands, a unique and fascinating destination that offers a glimpse into the history, geography, and culture of the Arctic region. From their strategic importance during the Cold War to their location on the International Date Line, the islands have a rich and intriguing history. The Inupiaq Eskimos, who have lived on the islands for thousands of years, have a culture that is deeply intertwined with the natural environment and the animals they hunt. While the Diomede Islands may not be a popular tourist destination, they offer a one-of-a-kind experience for those who are willing to make the journey. Visitors can take in the stunning views of the surrounding mountains and sea, observe the local wildlife, and learn about the rich history and culture of the Inupiaq people. Whether you are interested in history, geography, culture, or just looking for an off-the-beaten-path adventure, the Diomede Islands are a destination that should not be missed. They offer a unique perspective on the Arctic region and a chance to experience the magic of standing in two different days at the same time. We hope that this video has given you a glimpse into the unique and captivating world of the Diomede Islands. The history, culture, and natural beauty of these islands are truly remarkable, and we encourage you to explore and learn more about them.
If you found this video informative and enjoyable, please give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more engaging content and be sure to hit the notification bell to stay up to date on our latest videos. Thank you for joining us on this journey of discovery.